uncountability of r the set of real numbers using the method of trisection in this video using the method of trisection we show that the set r of real numbers is uncountable in the process we make use of the following nested interval theorem this is the nested interval theorem in r let i n where n is running through natural numbers be a sequence of closed and bounded intervals in r such that each member contains the next member of the sequence then the intersection of all these members intersection of all i n as n runs through the natural numbers is a non empty set okay let us look at a quick proof of this nested interval theorem so first uh, denote this interval i n by this closed interval a and b n where a and b n are real numbers for all n in natural numbers then by hypothesis what is the hypothesis each i n contains i n plus 1 so a1 comma a2 contains a2 comma b2 therefore a1 is less than or equal to a2 in this way it is less than or equal to an less than or equal to ultimately bn then less than or equal to b2 less than or equal to b1 the sequence look at the sequence a1 a2 a3 an and so on this sequence being bounded above by each bn here each of the b's is greater than or equal to each a is here so this sequence being bounded above by each bn the supremum sup an exists and this sup an by definition of itself is greater than or equal to an and since each an is bounded above by all these b's therefore sup an is less than or equal to bn therefore this means that sup an is a real number which belongs to each i n so it belongs to the intersection of all i n this completes the proof we now come to the main goal of this video namely the uncountability of r let us assume that the set r of real numbers is countable this is our basic assumption therefore the elements of r can be arranged in the form of a sequence x1 x2 x3 x4 and so on because we have assumed that r is countable so elements of r can be listed r can be listed consider now the closed interval 0 1 divide this interval into three equal parts and remove the middle part more precisely from the interval 0 1 remove the open sub interval 1/3 to 2/3 this is the middle part then we are left with two disjoint sub intervals one is from 0 to 1/3 another is from 2/3 to 1 both are closed intervals the situation is like this we have the original closed interval 0 to 1 and we have removed this middle part so we are left with this sub interval and this sub interval since the two sub intervals 0 to 1/3 and 2/3 to 1 are disjoint at least one of them doesn't contain the first term x1 of the sequence mentioned above now they are disjoint therefore they do not have any common point therefore x cannot belong to each of the two intervals 
x1 cannot belong to each of the two intervals what is x1 x1 is the first term of the sequential representation of r by our assumption r is a countable set and as such elements of r can be arranged in the form of a sequence x1 x2 x3 and so on this x1 is the first term of that particular sequence denote that sub interval which does not contain the point x1 by i1 so out of these two intervals one of them will not at least one of them will not contain x1 the one which doesn't contain x1 we call it i1 that's what is written here denote that sub interval which doesn't contain the point x1 by i1 it may so happen that none of these intervals none of these sub intervals contains the point x1 then for the sake of definiteness we always denote the one on the left by i1 that is so here this is on the left side 0 to 1 third so we'll call this one as i1 so when both of them do not contain this x1 then the left one is taken as i1 let us now divide the closed interval i1 into three equal parts and repeat the above process that means in the above process what we have done we have divided into three equal parts the interval closed interval 0 to 1 so here we replace the closed interval 0 to 1 by i1 and divide it into three equal parts then remove the middle part and then choose that particular part which doesn't contain x2 so and repeat the above process to obtain a closed sub interval i2 which doesn't contain the second term x2 of the sequence mentioned above proceeding in this way we obtain a sequence in of closed and bounded intervals in r such that xn doesn't belong to in for all n in natural numbers and each in contains the next member that is in plus 1 so in contains in plus 1 for all n in n then by the nested interval theorem the intersection of all these in is non empty okay because all the conditions for nested interval theorem are satisfied i n is a sequence of closed and bounded intervals and the number two condition says it this sequence is nested therefore this is non empty therefore there exists a real number z such that z belongs to this intersection okay because it is non empty now as mentioned in the beginning every real number appears in the sequence this r can be listed as x1 x2 x3 x4 and so on this is because of our assumption that r is countable so in particular this particular z also appears in this sequence so in particular z is equal to xm for some m in natural numbers therefore we have the following implications we have z in the intersection of all i n this implies since z is equal to xm xm is in the intersection and this implies xm in particular belongs to im but then this is a contradiction to the fact that xn doesn't belong to in for all n belonging to n natural numbers this is how we constructed in thus our basic assumption that r is a countable set is wrong okay because of this assumption we are getting this contradiction hence r is a count uncountable set so hence r is uncountable 
this completes the proof if you like this video then please subscribe my channel for more of such videos thank you